what's up? It's Armani White, aka Big Blanco, and I'm with Sound Exchange, and this is Sound Advice. Because music can make me feel things, you know, in my body that uh, words can't. As far as like happy hood music goes, the idea and the concept was created because uh, at first I didn't know how to internalize pain and trauma. I like I dealt with so uh, when I was a kid, we had a house fire where my aunt and my cousins passed away in it. And um, at the time, I was just I was bashful. I would like try and break things. I try and hurt other people because I didn't know how to accept and deal with my own hurt. And um, as over time, over time happened, like. Uh, I had my uncle, I had an uncle named Tyrone who was murdered by gun violence and I didn't, at that moment I realized what was going on in my head and it was that, those moments I just really wanted to be happy again and I didn't know how to get back to that level of happiness so I was just, I would act out and act out in rash ways. Um, but that's really what happy hood music is. It's just like, it's, it's, it's more or less like me seeking that level of happiness that I had through those level, through those moments of pain and you know and and finding that like finding that sunshine inside of a sky full of clouds that's kind of uh uh what you know well that, that's you know that's how i how i got to making like the bright colorful music which is like i dealt with so much pain that made me say i don't want to be here i don't want to feel this way i don't want to think about these moments i, I want to really get back to the other side so i gotta have cartoons uh, like they just play in the background. I got that cartoons. My laptop, and I can't. One thing I have to do is I have to be uh, shoeless because <laughs> I don't know. Like, like uh, uh, this girl I used to date in college, she used to call sneakers uh, foot cages, and I don't know. Like, I feel just a little more free uh, mentally and emotionally when I don't got shoes on. Like, I don't record any of my music with shoes on. Like, even when I'm at the studio, like like an extra studio, I don't I don't wear shoes in the studio. Like for me, you know, going viral, there's, there's even before going viral, there was like a world that I was building and building on all these different platforms where it started with Tumblr, then it went to Twitter, then it went to Instagram, SoundCloud, and like all these different things. I was just building different worlds and, and communities of people, but the, these things aren't possible without the internet. It's important for you to track down your consistent paycheck because apparently, they take it from you if you don't collect it after a while. <laughs> so go get your money, man. Like it's just, it's so many bags out there. Like the thing is, you know, like a big, a big thing that ends up happening, like when you sign with a record label, a lot of times is some of the more fortunate ones recoup. A lot of people don't recoup, so you need to have those different avenues and those different like verticals in place, where as though you can still maintain. Uh, 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 just like you know, consistent income and like consistent line of income while you're in these situations because, right? Yeah, like a lot of people just take that, take that advance and they never learn anything else. There's so much money just sitting around that they never learn what it is, where it is, how to get it, and yeah, and then the, then the, the, the advance money run out, you know and I mean, then you got downsize your home, and you know, like you don't want to do that. Don't downsize your home, man. Go get your sound exchange popping. Activity does not equal momentum. That was a really piece, really sound piece of advice. I will use the internet as an example. I usually, I, I call LA the internet in real life. So like a lot of times I would go out to LA and I'd be like, yo, I'm doing all these meetings and meeting all these people. And I'm like, I just talked to this person. I just talked to that person, blah, blah, blah. But it, does, it didn't do anything to actually like move my career forward. It didn't like this meeting didn't necessarily materialize in anything. It might've just been like, you know, and a lot of times like, uh, uh, it, if you have a platform that kind of like, you know that puts you on that, that becomes like how your medium as to how people recognize you and notice you like for me it was tiktok and say you go from tiktok to uh now all you do is like talk shows or something like that like people don't know you from talk shows they know you from tiktok so like that activity outside of it or like you know there's a lot of people there's a lot of influencers that started off influencing and then became like movie stars and like the movies didn't do well but they spent all these years doing movies and so like their momentum just kind of slowly dwindled down